Hello and welcome back. My name is Vormithrax, and this is part three of my play for Through the Ages, the digital edition. And we're going to try to finish up the match in this episode. So we are just starting into age three, and let's get it done. All right, so politics action. Um... No, don't have enough, so we're definitely not going to do a political action. I don't have enough for either of the aggressions, so we're going to skip that phase. And this is where things get interesting. So, at the end of the last episode, I was pondering grabbing Transcontinental Railroad and Charlie Chaplin. Now, Transcontinental is going to give us four military, and it's going to double the output of one of our mines, whichever mine is the best. So, that's good, but it's also going to take 12 resources to build it. So I've got to really decide, is the time to build that going to be worth 12 resources that I could be using to upgrade some culture generation? Because Red's got 10 per turn and is already ahead of me. He's almost 20 points ahead of me with 3 times my per turn generation. I have got to get moving on that. <laughs> There's just nothing else I can do. There's not enough time left. So I think on reflection that that would actually be a bad idea. The military points, I don't think I'm going to get hit by that all that much. So I'm hesitant to worry about that. And the generation on the mines, if I had another level of mine, maybe I would do it. But right now I'm only going to get two per turn. So I'm going to get two extra so, I, uh, I get, I'm not sure how it counts this. So does it mean, hmm, with three workers is producing six. So is it going to produce 12 instead of six? Or is it just one person, one building that's going to double? So it's going to be two extra as opposed to six extra. That I don't actually know. One of your best mines produces twice as many. But I don't know if it counts this as a mine or if it's just one of these little buildings that has a worker and it is a mine. I suspect it's just one building. Uh, so I'm going to regretfully pass this up. I've just got to get focused on anything that will generate culture. So I'm still looking at Charlie Chaplin as a good one. So I'm going to produce twice as much. So, yeah, I, I think I've got to do that. So we're going to grab him, and we're going to get him deployed. Then we are going to do that. You'll see that jumped me up to plus nine, so I'm almost equal to his point generation, but now I've got to make up that deficit. So, I've got to generate a lot more points. That's just by itself not going to be enough, so I'm going to need to throw more people in there for sure. Um, next up, I wanted to do Breakthrough for the Justice System. So that's still got a good supply of science points available. Got two more actions. I could go for Urban Growth. That would let me pay four less for the next upgrade here, so it only cost me four. So I'd have ten. I could do... Yeah, I'd still only be able to do one upgrade. Barring other cards, nothing else is going to help me, really. Um... What else could I spend this on? I'm loath to spend it on any other types of upgrades like research. So far, I've got a pretty good amount for some other thing coming down the line. So I'm not filling a pinch here. I don't need... Yeah, I forgot. I can bring a new worker on for free. Got to remember to do that. And the game would remind me. It's very helpful about that. So that's good. The next one I pull, I'm going to be deficit on food again, so I'm thinking of doing this. That'll give me eight. That'll still let me do one more upgrade here next round. And then we'll know for sure how it calculates that bonus, if it's just per yellow light that doubles or if it's the whole building. Um, 
I've only got one point left and I just don't see anything. If I had to pick one, I would probably pull that one right there. But I, I only need the food to feed the people. Well, we'll deal with it when it comes, I guess. I can always drop one more person here. It's just not efficient because the low level to have a person here. Um, I don't see where else I can spend this effectively. Don't want to do that or that. I don't know. I'm I'm debating what to do here. Back this stuff up. So if I leave it at two, I can grab the urban growth. So I can do this. I can still get the free worker. I think that's the best. I think I'll do that right there. End turn. Um, that's right. I need to check my tactics. I can no longer do the cavalry, so I've got to pick something else that's going to be better. So, I've got infantry and I've got cannons. I don't have cavalry, so that one's not going to be helpful. So, nothing there. So, it's looking like that one's really my only choice. Do I have three? I do have three. So... You know, gets me a couple of points, puts me back in first place, which will hold for a turn or two, so we'll roll with it. All right, I don't think I'm going to be aggressing anybody. I have no opportunities or plans to really move my strength up soon. I'm not going to do cavalry at this late date, so let's get rid of those two. Or actually, we'll get rid of those two. Um, uh, wealthy territory. Uh, I really need my people to be dropped on culture generation. Commerce boxes would be nice, but I don't desperately need. And the resources would also be nice. Um... Once again, it would drop my strength by a pretty good amount because I'd lose the unit plus the tactics bonus. I think that might be enough to drop me down either at or below yellow's strength. Uh, I'm going to bid three. That'll be one unit plus two points from one of the cards. Green got it. Jeez. All right, Green. Green come back. If Green comes back to win, I'm gonna be annoyed. He's been getting away with some pretty easy victories on some of those. Where are you up to, Red? No way can you finish that wonder. You grab the food. Why? He's got a huge amount of food generation already. I'm not sure I follow that strategy. Maybe that'll pay off, and I just don't understand exactly why he needs that much. You got a lot of science points built up there, yellow. Let's 
Going to be some interesting cards showing up at my end by the time this gets done. All right, Politics of Strength. The strongest civilization draws five military cards. The weakest does not draw cards next turn. If applied in age four... Okay, so I get five extra cards. Cool. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure how much use they're going to be, but... I guess it'll let me pick a, a Politics card that might be useful. I don't plan on any aggressions. Yeah, green's got to get some military developed. Switch to Winston. Oh, it's going to finish it. Yep, he finished it. I don't know, green. Still behind, but I'm not liking the way you're progressing there. All right, I got a boatload of cards. Um, hmm. 15. That's definitely not enough to do an aggression against anybody, so those are out. So defense cards, aggression, so I've got impact of government. Everybody scores two per civil action and one per military action. Huh. Alright, that might be interesting. Two civil contact each produces an extra. Hmm. I might do that one. That'll get me some generation. How's yellow doing? Ooh, yellow's doing pretty good. Ouch! I'm behind all of these guys. Oh. 75 and 10 for red, so I'm 20 points behind him still. And then he's 64 and 9, so he's 8 points above me with an equivalent production. So uh, I'm going to be lucky to maintain my lead above green at this rate. All right. Where is he getting all his points from? It has to be... I'm not sure where. Maybe it's the leaders that he's been generating points off of. Definitely not that. It's got a little bit from that, so I don't know where all of Yellow's points came from. Hmm. Alright. Um, impact of variety. Two for each type of unit, each type of urban building, and each special blue. So I would gain the most out of this. Plus, if I play it, the Vast Territory card is going to come up. Um, that one, there's much closer to parity currently. So, if I do Peace Treaty with green, I think that's... Yeah, yeah. What I'm thinking of doing. The only problem is it's only really going to generate five or six points over the course if it holds through the rest of the game. So do I consider that more important? This will get me only two points more than red. I think I, I think it will generate more points if I do the peace treaty. So let's do the peace treaty with green. Confirm. Of course he accepted it. A good Good, good thing for him. <laughs> okay, action time. So, let's do military or urban growth. We're going to build... Oh, this is... Ah, oh, darn it. Labs and... Yeah, temple's what I want, right? I wanted opera, actually. Huh. Opera doesn't count as that, huh? Seems odd to me. So if I say to do that... See, it shows here. Huh. Maybe I just wasn't reading it right. Maybe it was saying theater and I was looking for the word opera. Alright. Building using urban growth. So, right. It's only six costs because of my architecture. And then with the urban growth, it's down to two. So that's a good deal. So we're going to do that. And I could actually do it one more time. But wait, back that up. So I'm at 10, and it went to 13. So yeah, I'm just gaining that. So only one yellow pip gets the doubling bonus. 
So the same thing I'm sure is true of the other question I had about the mines. So it's not the product, the entire output, it's just one yellow pip that you count or building. All right, so go back to here. And right there is what I'm looking for. So play it to build an age two theater. All right. So that gets me to 13. I could do one more. Grab you. So I could do another one. I have just enough. Well, I have two extra, actually. So that would get me another three. That would get me to plus 16. So I could start making some progress. Hmm. Hmm. Let me look at the tableau here. That's research. I've got a good pile of research to get something done. We're in the last age, 31 cards. I don't have a wonder in production, so I can grab internet. I would score 15 as well for that, and it's reasonable here. And science produced by your... I think I'm going to grab the internet. That's a little more, but it's also more points to get it out. So let's grab the internet. I'm not going to do military. I'm not worried about any of those. So that's not useful. I think my best bet is still... Well, hold on. So how much does it cost? 14 total. Get that built. Hmm. That's exactly what I've got next turn if I don't build anything else. So I think it's better if I spend the last two, for example, on Revolutionary Idea, build the internet next turn. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not likely to get any other wonders out. I think I've got enough research. I'm going to go with urban growth. Alright, discard... Aggression, aggression, war, and I'm not going to get cannons out. Oh, I've got a cannon. This is age three, so I only get the five point bonus for that tactic. Got three and one. I need the reverse, so I'd have to pull somebody out and then redeploy them to get the bonus. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not going to worry about it. And we'll get rid of... Uh, that one. Whoops, I'm minus one food. That's not good. <laughs> we'll have to fix that. It's got three idle discontent workers. If it wasn't for that early lead he jumped out with, I wouldn't be so worried about that guy, but wherever he got those points, it's being pretty effective heading into the end of the game. Um, uh, again, I would love to, but I just don't see it happening. Um Well, let's let's give it a try. So I'll bid up to 3 again. <laughs> again I lose to a tie. Uh, I believe tie break goes to in player order starting with whoever's turn it is. So that's why he wins with uh it was his turn, so he broke the tie. 
Guess that might be good. Well, now he's... I was gonna say his military dropped enough. It might be worth going after, but he's got enough cards in hand to defend against quite a lot. Yeah, he's gonna be able to defend. Oh, he got his military back to 14. I rarely see that many wars or aggressions occur in this third age. So I don't know how often things like air forces and rockets actually come out and have some kind of an effect. Maybe they do on uh, certain challenges or on harder difficulties. But I haven't seen many so far. All right, politics phase, 21 cards left in the deck. And what would these do? Holy moly. Heck yeah, prepare that. Nope, don't care. Pass. <laughs> Nobody else cared either. Alright, what are we going to do? I can drop one more person into my happiness generating building, but my goal was to get this built. Alright, so that's good. So we've got a good supply of science points. I've zeroed out my resources getting that built, but I'm at 87 with 13 per turn. So I am now above red. So I'm above them in total points and in per turn generation. So I'm really happy about that. And I've got one more guy I can drop in here for another three points, but I've got to keep pushing. I've got to find something else that I can do. Now notice that uh, fast food chain is still available and I could grab it with exactly the amount of points I have left. I've got no points to, or no resources to spend things on. So I'm really considering that because that would be another 21 point jump for 16 resources. Because at this stage of the game, 21 points is going to be huge. Especially since I've got per turn parity with these guys. I don't see anything that could possibly get me more points for the amount of cost. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Take it. It's going to take me, barring any other changes, how many turns? <laughs> Three. So I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get that thing up, but I'm sure going to try. That's going to mean I'm not going to build anything for the next three turns. So unless something comes up card-wise like that one, I would really like to grab. Uh, did I do anything else I can cancel this turn? So if I... No, I've got to finish that. I have no choice. Well, yeah, I've, in order to do this sequence, I've got to finish that. So, I have to do that. I have to take that. And then I'll just have to deal. I was hoping I could take that efficient upgrade. But, no, not going to happen. All right. Yeah, if I could get a cavalry unit, that'd be a pretty good tactics bump. I'm just going to have to hope that my military is strong enough to last, or I have enough defensive cards to last me through these last few turns. Alright, I'm out of points. I don't see anything I can do with the military. Oh yeah, I did forget about that problem right there. Uh, if I take this, I have no resources in order to upgrade with. I'm just going to end up taking a famine. That'll hurt me a bit, but I don't see a way around it. I've got to get the internet built. I've got to get 
that card down. Let's just deal with it. Oh, we lose four culture points for famine, huh? Tell me more. You're one short. For each one short, you lose four. All right. Um, I don't think I have a way around that this turn. Do it. Um, no way am I getting that out. And that's not happy making, but I just don't see a way around it with what I'm trying to do. <laughs> that's an awful lot of action points under Hollywood there. Ideally, I'd like to get one more worker into that theater and get the wonder done before the game ends, but I'm not sure I'm going to have that many turns left. And that'll really pretty much be my entire turn till through the end of the game is just accomplishing those two things. I think if I can get that wonder built, I'll have it in the bag, barring some really major changes or some really ugly politics cards during the following final scoring phase. Maybe I can use all of my spare action points I'm not using just to grab all the cards in the tableau to hasten the end of the, the uh, game. Oh, it's disappearing at a decent pace. Alright, I'm in last place for military, so there are some politics cards that can hurt me. Whoa! Yeah, now there's some problems. <laughs> I'm in last... Oh, oh, Green Green and I have a pact, though. He can't attack me. So, theoretically, I'm safe from Green. That might save my life if I can just manage to get through the next couple of turns without somebody just hammering the heck out of me. Okay, politics phase. Um, hmm. That one comes up, I come in last. Whoops. This one comes up, points to yellow. If that one comes up, I'm in the lead. So I'm going to play that one. Uh, that would be me. That's not cool. I'm backsliding on my points. I'm at 96.13, 95.10, 91.15. Yeah! Too close! Too close! Uh, it's going to be tense. Alright, how to do this. So, I've only got six points. I need 16 total to get this thing done. So that means three rounds, barring any other change. I could pull reserves. That will help, but it won't help till next turn. Engineering genius. Why? Okay, I can. So I can take that. So I definitely want engineering genius. So that's going to save me five points for one of the stages. So I'll build stage one myself. I'll spend that on stage two. So that's going to help tremendously. Alright, if I do efficient upgrade... No. Alright. What if... Well, I think... I've got to do at least this, even though it's going to cost me some points here. That brings me back into parity. Now if I recruit here... Okay, so I didn't lose another food, so that's great. So 
I've got two workers I can still get deployed at some point. The earlier I do it, the better. So if I do this and pick theater right here, that gets me to 16. So I'm still ahead of both, barely, if I do that. Now, what that's going to delay is my building of this building. So I'll have 8 next turn. This is going to save me 5. So that's 13. So it's still going to take 2 more turns before I can get this out. So I'm going to be banking that the deck doesn't run out this next round. Because I'm pretty sure if I can get that built, I think I've, I've got it won. That's my guess. Alright, so I think that's my plan. So I've got the engineering genius. I've got four points left. I don't need research points, so the revolutionary idea is not going to help. I'm not going to... Yeah, those... Nope, not really going to help. Um, not going to get that out. I think... So movies does count as a theater. It's four per for 11 that you spend. I've maxed this building out. There's only going to be like two more turns at the most. So my focus has got to be finishing that. Because I'm going to gain a lot more points based on that. So I won't have the points to spend anywhere else. All right, so we're decided. We're putting everything we've got into getting that built. So that's done. I think this is the only other thing even partially useful. And unfortunately, I think I'm done. I'm going to have some extra civic actions. If I pull cards, it's going to hasten the end. Uh, I need things to go at least two more rounds. And I'm not confident I'm going to get two more rounds. Let's pull military theory. I've got spare research points. It won't cost me anything, and it'll gain me quite a bit to fend people off. And I think I'm going to call it good right there. Um, one of these was... Neither of these was particularly good for me, so let's get rid of both of those. Keep the rest for defense. Green can't attack me, as far as I remember. Eh, red's going to try. I don't think so, Red. I only need four points. That right there will do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Punk. <laughs> Space flight. So many action points. Alright, don't do anything terrifying. Don't finish that wonder. Don't raise your per turn generation a huge amount in culture. Yay! Five free bonus points. I like being in the lead. He doesn't have a wonder to build yet. There's two big ones available. But he doesn't have the resources to get it built. Alright, he did grab a wonder, and he's got it half built. <laughs> He'll get it finished next turn, so my wonder against his wonder to maintain that lead. Green tried to go against red and failed. Man, am I happy I have that defense packed with green right now. I don't think I could deal with the uh, military problems. All right, five cards left in the deck. As things stand currently, I'll get another turn before that thing runs out. Ooh, just barely. All right, so it's definitely going to go at least one more round after this. So I should be able to get my wonder up. Okay, politics. I am definitely not doing any wars. If I do impact of science, yeah, I don't think so. So we're skipping politics. Okay, 
Let's get military theory up. That'll use up all of my points, which is not great, but I think I'll be okay. That'll raise me to 20, which will help quite a bit. So we'll definitely play that. So that did that <laughs> and that for me. So that's actually pretty huge because I'm going to draw six new cards that I can use for defense or whatever purpose. So that's perfect. All right, that's actually working out pretty well. I'm happy with how the things have been going. So let's check the totals again. I'm at 117 plus 16, so I'm doing well against red. He's got a wonder out, but not built. Yellow is now turned into the closest thing to competition. So I'm only eight points and plus one point above him. We've both got wonders going to be finishing up, and there could be some high-scoring politics cards to worry about, so I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, this is going to be close. All right, so let's pick this. I'm going to build the first stage myself. I'm going to build the second stage. Oh, it's just four, 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 and four. Okay, I thought it was... I'm not sure what I thought. <laughs> so I'm not going to save the full five. All right, build that with the engineering genius. And I can actually do one more level of it. And then finish it next round. Which I think will be the last round that I get. So I don't want to mess around. And or I can do an efficient upgrade. That'll only do a lab or a temple though. That's maxed out. Temple. Yeah. I'll have six generation. I I just can't mess around with this possibility. I think I've got to play it safe and do that. Oh, zero cost to upgrade something, so I guess I might as well. Uh, can I hire somebody without... Yep, I can hire somebody. Getting them deployed is another thing. I don't really need a lab. I don't really need a farm, so I guess it's going to be a temple. That'll at least get me one more culture point. Alright, so... Got no problem there. Got idle workers that I can't get deployed. And I'm probably not going to get deployed. I'm not sure how I've managed to accomplish all this with the small amount of resource generation. Um, still got two points left. Anything I can grab up here? Reserves might help. Ooh, what's this one do? <laughs> Naturally. That would be nobody. Um, I don't see civil service actually happening or helping me at this point. I'm not going to get that out. I'm not going to get that out. Uh, I think it's just reserves. I don't see anything else that could help. Are there are any tactics I can change to? I've got three infantry and one cannon. I don't think there's anything I can get. It's all... Nope, not going to be able to do anything there. So we're just going to grab a boatload of cards. All right. I could have used some things other than what I just got. <laughs> Except for Vormithrax. Here we go into the final stretch. Don't think Red will be able to keep up. He doesn't have a wonder coming up. He doesn't have any more culture buildings he can put up, so yellow is the potential problem. Uh-oh, successful aggression. He hurt red. Got some uh, resource. Not too much, though. 
What you gonna do, Yellow? He's gonna finish his wonder. Can't imagine him doing anything else. Oh, he couldn't finish it. Is this his last turn? Is he not going to get that built? I would be so happy if this was his last turn and he didn't get it built. <laughs> Again, I'm fuzzy on just when the last turn timer starts. <laughs> I know it'll warn me when it's my last turn, but I don't know if when the deck hits zero, if from that point on, everybody after that has one last turn, or how this works timing-wise. Not like I can control it, and it wouldn't really change what I'm doing, but it sure would be good to know. Alright, this is my final turn, which I expected, so absolutely have to finish this thing. Alright, politics action. 20 to those guys. I'm definitely not doing any aggressions. I'm not doing any wars, so the question is, do I play a politics card? So I'm definitely not playing that. And if I did that one, I would also come out pretty bad. So, not playing anything. So, get politics. Alright, now, finish this thing. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So, 157 plus 16. So I'm 30 points above him. He's got more generation, but we're on the last turn, so... That won't be at much of a factor. I don't know if he's still got a turn. If he finishes that, he might make up most of that lead, and then it's going to come down to the politics cards. So it'll, I don't know what's going to come up. So, <laughs> All right, anything else I can possibly do? Switch back to my screen. Unfortunately, I can't upgrade that any further. I don't think I can even put anybody in here. I have no resources, so yeah, I'm not going to be able to accomplish anything, really. We'll do that. So, I get one extra point. I go from 16 to 17, because I can't put anybody here. I guess it would be the same effect if I put them down here, and I could do both my guys and get two points out of it. So that actually makes more sense. Anything else to do? None of these will get deployed. Useless, useless, useless. So, I think that... Mm, how come you're not letting me? Uh... Three resources, three resources. How come I can't put a guy here? Is it th three total between your buildings? I thought it was three per building. Huh, okay. That's one thing I wasn't aware of. Apparently it's three total between your various categories. So with the monarchy that I picked up back in age one, I'm limited to three. So I guess I might as well do that. It's not going to make a difference if it's not going to let me deploy another one anyway. Um, I don't see any other way I can grab points. So we're going to hit end turn. Oops, famine again. I definitely don't want that to happen. Back this stuff up. Reserves. Food. <laughs> Alright, so now I can pay for the food, or pay for that. But I don't have enough to do this, so... I'm going to lose the one point, but that's better than losing the four points. So, all right, now we're done. Yep, I'm aware. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care.
Apparently I'm only allowed to discard one. Alright, so whatever. Alright, now it's just sit back and wait and watch. See what happens. Pretty sure Red's out of it. He has no wonder to complete, so he's not going to get any big point jumps. Green should also be out of it, so it's me and Yellow going for the lead, or going for the win. <laughs> Red got hammered again. Not that it's going to make any difference. He's already done his final. Yeah, yeah. Finish up your your wonder. He didn't finish his wonder. Okay, that's an error. That's dumb. <laughs> hmm. Can anybody think of why he didn't finish that uh, wonder? He had the points, he had the resources. I... That's a really big mistake. I don't understand that at all. Holy crap was that a big number that he gained there. He gained 32 points on me with that one card. Ugh. Each of its level 3 technologies. Holy crap. Alright, well, that might have lost it for us right there. Yep. Now we're 12 behind. We're not going to gain that much, I don't think, unless something really favoring us pops up, and I can't think of any category that I'm really going to get that kind of a bump from. So even with him not finishing his wonder, he's still going to outpace me. Yeah, that was a ridiculous one. Jeez, another 30. He's going to vastly outpace me with these politics cards. That's going to be pretty discouraging. He's been higher than me, or tied with me substantially in every single category of these politics cards. Yep. Oh well, I thought I had a good chance at it that time, but uh, these, that one politics card was massive. Massive! I mean, that one card by itself gave him the win. So, he had, what, a 30-something point jump on me from that one technology card, or that one politics card. I don't think I could pay that much attention to know <laughs> what's in that deck. Actually, you don't know most of the other cards, so I don't know how you plan around something like that. That throws a pretty big random factor into the end of the game that I'm not real fond of, especially since I lost because of it. But I still don't understand why he didn't finish his wonder. That throws me, because that seems like a really, really bad mistake that he could have easily generated another probably 20 points easily off of just that one. Um, none of the rest of the stuff he did had any use being the last turn. Huh. Well, that's it. End of game. Got second place. So, performed better. I'm a little unhappy with the way this one ended, both with the mistake that Yellow made that's just really glaring in the AI, and that one card giving him such a huge bonus point uh, towards the end there. But I guess you got to account for that kind of thing, and that comes with practice and experience. So it was still a good match. I felt a lot more in control of what happened, and I was understanding and the balance and the flow of the game a lot better now. So I'm getting a lot more used to the second and third ages and what to expect. Um, so all in all, I'm happy. Got second place. That's better than I've placed in the challenges so far. So make a progress. Hope you're enjoying the episode and the series. Uh, do as usual. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know uh, that you're enjoying these types of games so that I can feature them more on the channel and branch out into a few more that I've got that uh, I think you guys might be interested in. So take advantage of those. And I've also got a Discord channel. You can feel free to visit me there and chat about games and let me know what you think. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.